Hey y'all, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you're new here and you've stumbled upon my page, hey, 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 I hope that you'll check me out and then consider hitting that subscribe button. While you're at it, you might as well hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date every single time I come out with a new video. I'm Eve and this is The Ev Effect. All right, y'all. So today's video is a haul. It's officially a haul. Um, I've been a little bit reluctant to shoot this video, not because I am officially eating crow. Oh, I, I really don't have a desire for anything else, really. I am pretty satisfied with my collection at the moment, so I am not feeding for anything. But really because I have come to the realization that this is an addiction. Um, so back in, I think, April, I said that I was going to put myself in timeout, not buy any fragrances for a month, which I successfully did. I did not buy any fragrances in the month of May and the first week of June. But as soon as I got out of timeout, I went buck wild. So I am officially putting myself back in lockup. And I'm not in timeout this time, y'all. I am in jail. I am in no by jail because this is re damn ridiculous. Okay. So at this point, I have decided that I am not purchasing any more fragrances for the rest of the year because I am officially in no buy jail. Like I said, I'm in no buy jail. I'm not buying anything. Okay. I'm in no buy jail until Christmas. In Christmas, I am eligible for parole. I can get out on, you know, good behavior, but I really need to slow my roll and just chill out for real for real so don't judge me because i'm already judging myself i am doing the absolute most and i really need to chill out so the only way that i will get a new fragrance between now and christmas time is if i am gifted a fragrance or if somebody puts money on my books because my wallet is officially closed when it comes to fragrances okay okay Okay, so I want to go ahead and just show you what I have racked up in the last couple of months. So I have about 10 or 11 fragrances and I may or may not have one in route. Um, but this is it. This, this is it. Like I said, I'm up for parole around Christmas time. And then, you know, we're going to slowly, maybe, possibly add anything else at the end of the year. But right now, this is, this is it for 2022. Okay. So in a prior video, I mentioned that I had purchased, um, this Sol de Janeiro, the, I don't know how to pronounce this one. I lost it. Okay. There's nothing more annoying than losing something that you absolutely adore and love. And so I ended up having to re-up and repurchase it and watch by the time I get you know, halfway through this, I'm sure I'll find that bottle, but I have no idea what happened to it. Between when I was packing for my Mexico trip and when I got back, I have no idea what I did with it. So I did repurchase this. I absolutely love this scent. This is great for out the shower. I have the body cream as well. Love them both together. And to me, this does not smell like Baccarat Rouge. It smells like Burberry Her. So just my two cents in that whole debacle, but I got this back in my collection. Okay, so for the first one that I picked up was relatively very inexpensive. Um, and this one's from Target and this is called Coconut Palm. So this is from the Mix Bar line from Target and they've got maybe I think five total cents. Don't quote me on that. But when I got my nose on this, there were only two other fragrances in the lineup that were available for me to smell. And this one smelled the best out of all of those. So I decided to pick it up. I did want to get my nose on vanilla bourbon, I think, um, but it wasn't available. So this is a, it's a creamy coconut, vanilla, sandalwoody type of scent, more vanilla sandalwood-ish than coconut. Um, but it's a really pleasant scent. And so I would say that this is a casual get up and go 
I don't know what to wear let me just throw something on really quick type of fragrance um, like I said this is a creamy type of fragrance it's more woodsy than vanilla with splashes of coconut there's not a whole lot of coconut but you do get that essence of the coconut feel within this fragrance but it's not a dominant scent in here at least that's not what I get to my nose um, but it is cozy Mm, it's pleasant and I think you can wear this year round so this is great for the summertime and I think it's great for the fall and winter as well like I said it's it's a get up and go throw it on I want to smell good really quickly type of scent lasting power on this uh I'm gonna say about four hours it's not spectacular but for twenty dollars you can't really ask for much and for twenty dollars I really think this is a great buy so I do want to get my nose on the vanilla bourbon one um and if I like the way that one smells I will pick that one up no I won't I'm in jail I'm in jail I am not gonna pick that one up but I would like to smell it and see how it does so coconut palm from Target um and I love this one all right so the next one is a fragrance that I was influenced by one of my fragrance buddies here on YouTube Sharita M okay so I've mentioned her on my channel before if you're not following her I need you to go and follow but um she influenced me to buy Tamin Blue Heart y'all so I did buy this one and I was hoping that I could get this from Selfridges but homegirl sold the site out so I ended up having to get this from Harrods I had to pay the ridiculous shipping price but it is what it is um, I still went through the Selfridge link that I clicked even though it said sold out and from that website I went to Harrods so hopefully Sharita if you're watching this hopefully you still get credit for this I don't really know how that works but hopefully you still get credit for this purchase but so I picked this up and this is a beautiful saffron coconut scent so this is a heady saffron scent might I add and while this is beautiful and unique in my opinion I've smelled something similar to this before so this smells so good but I feel like I have something similar to this fragrance so when I smelled this I immediately said "Ooh, this smells like cavort from fragrance de bois now cavort is also again this is not a review but what am I doing yapping at them out but just hear me out so cavort is also a saffron a heady saffron fragrance but this is a saffron spiced opening whereas blue heart is a saffron coconut opening but the way the saffron is done in both of these are almost the same once it's on skin this is an absolutely beautiful airy summertime type of fragrance and like I said it's very unique and it's great for day wear as well as night but because I have both of these in my opinion this is great for like a day out with your girls or even a day out with your guy your bae whoever um, and to make an impression a unique impression you're gonna get their attention with this scent and if you wanted to transition this scent profile into night then I think cavort would play in great in that aspect so this has like I said saffron and coconut in it but it also has like an herbaceous factor with the cypria oil whereas cavort has Davana in it which is another type of herbaceous type of plant so there are similarities with both of these like I said once it gets on skin they smell almost the same they're not a hundred percent the same but they are in the same vein so beautiful scent glad I was able to pick this up so now that I have both of these if I am feeling this vibe I can definitely throw this on during the day and if I want to stay in this lane I can top this off at night when I'm going to you know make it a nightcap or date night or whatever this is perfect for the nighttime perfect for the daytime this is not a comparison video this is about my new fragrance to me blue heart I absolutely love it Sharita, thank you very much, girl. This was a good one.
Okay, so next up we have Borea from Tiziana Terenzi. So at this point, there happens to be a running theme, and it's I swear it's not on purpose, but there is a running theme of some similarities between most, if not all, of these fragrances. If you've caught on to what that is, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. But Beret is the next one that I picked up, and this is a really, a really nice summery coconut almondy fragrance. It has fruit notes listed in here, but I don't get a whole lot of fruits in here. I mainly get an almond forward fragrance followed by some coconut. So I think one of the fruits in here is a peach. I don't really get that, but I do get that plum that's in here as it starts to dry down. So there's not a whole lot of sweetness in here for me, but it's still a beautiful, just a well-rounded coconut almondy feel. So the first time that I wore this, that almond was a little bit overbearing. But as I continue to wear, I've worn this like four times already. As I've continued to wear this, that almond has settled a bit. So I don't know if it needed some time to macerate a little bit more in this bottle. But it's a beautiful summery scent. Would I say this is a beach scent? No, not necessarily. But I would say this is like more of a lunch at the beach type of scent. But not a chill by the pool type of scent. It's a really nice summery scent and I would take this on a tropical vacation for sure. It dries down kind of creamy with the sandalwood at the bottom. Y'all know what it is about my woods. I, I love it. And then it has musk and of course musk always takes the cake for me but gorgeous summer scent and yeah I absolutely love this one. So sticking with Tiziana Terenzi I also picked up the infamous Tibet. Now Tibet is a powerhouse of a fragrance oh my gosh beautiful beautiful ambery floral fragrance this is very intense and this bottle is absolutely gorgeous might i add but again this cap is ridiculously heavy unlike the berea cap the berea cap is like plasticky not heavy at all but this this is a landmine okay this is very heavy but the scent is absolutely gorgeous this is an ambery floral it's got your musk in here it's got some fruits in here peach is the highlighted fruit in this and this is like i said a powerhouse of a fragrance definitely date night fragrance definitely a fragrance if you want to command attention in the room this is the fragrance that's going to do it for you this is the fragrance that's also going to get head spinning like what do you have on it's the bit. Now, I personally have not worn this yet outside of the house, but I surprised my damn self at home. Like, girl, you smell good. So the notes in here are green notes. There's bergamot, there's peach, there's sand, there's coconut, there's musk, there's cotton candy, vanilla, and amber. And like I said, this is an ambery scent. I do get that sensation as well as deep woods at the bottom of this, but I don't get any cotton candy from here. The sand, I'm not really sure how that comes through in here. I don't know that I pick up on any sand, but definitely the ambery, the musk, the peach in here. It's a beautiful, sexy fragrance, and I cannot wait to wear this out and make my impression on my group, maybe on a date. Um, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is very hyped on YouTube, and for good reason, because this is an absolutely beautiful scent. All right, so I have one more from Tiziana Terenzi, and this one, y'all, is called, I might be butchering this, but Gumin, Jumin, Gumin? I'm not sure, but this is beautiful. So I wasn't even looking for this fragrance. I just kind of stumbled upon it when I was at Neiman's. And the fragrance department is right next to the shoe department. And I went to go look at some shoes. And of course, I had to mosey on over to the fragrances. And I was just smelling. Okay, so I was smelling a plethora of fragrances. I saw a few of the black bottles. So the last time that I was in Neiman's, they did not have the expanded collection of Tiziana Terenzi. But this particular visit, they did so i was like "Ooh, let me smell some of these black bottles and i came across this one i sprayed it on the paper and i was like "Ooh, this is this is good let me spray it on my hands <laughs> so 
I sprayed it on my hand. I walked around. I sprayed a couple of other things on paper to smell those. But my hand just kept radiating this gorgeous fruit. And the fruit in here is pineapple. So Gumin is a, I guess, a special launch. So they only make a limited amount of these every year. And I want to say each of the batches are the same but I'm not 100% sure. So I, of course, have the batch from 2022, but they only make a limited few every single year. So this was launched in 2016. And so since 2016, they've come out with small batches of this fragrance. So this is a citrus, fruity, slightly floral, woody fragrance. All of that. So the initial blast is a citrus. So you, you've got that clean citrusy opening. And then it quickly for me starts to evolve into this fruity nuance. And this fruity nuance is led by a beautiful pineapple note. Okay. And then that pineapple note starts to get a little bit deep. Not like an overripe pineapple note, but like a pineapple that is accompanied with an ambery essence and then the amberiness comes in and then the woodiness from the bottom comes in as well so you end up with this beautiful fruit woodsy type of scent as it gets to the ultimate dry down of this scent so i'm just going to read the notes for this one because it's incredibly special in my opinion so this has mandarin orange pineapple orange and bergamot the middle is ozonic notes, amber, violet, jasmine, rose. Then at the bottom you have musk, sandalwood, birch, agarwood, which is of course oud. So I don't really get any oud from this. I get just more so sandalwood um, and maybe a little bit of the birch. But that ozonic in the middle, I kind of get that vibe a little bit, but it's not super ozonic in my opinion. But what stands out to me in this fragrance is the pineapple. That pineapple mixed with the amberiness of this fragrance is absolutely beautiful. And this evolves just so differently from any other fragrance from, especially from Tiziana Terenzi that I've smelt. So I will also add that I have there's not really a whole lot of reviews on this fragrance, but I've seen a couple and I've seen that they have compared this to Silver Mountain Water from Creed and then another fragrance from Zerzhov. In my opinion, because of that citrusy opening, I feel like it always gets linked to an Aventus or a Silver Mountain Water. I can get the Silver Mountain Water nuance. I kind of get that from the initial blast, but that only lasts for so long, like not long at all, because then it starts to evolve into this, this pineapple note that just takes on a whole different vibe within this fragrance. So if you can get your nose on this at a Neiman Marcus, because this, this is where I've smelt it at. I didn't purchase it from Neiman. I just smelt it from there and I picked this up from Max Aroma because they were having a sale. But if you can get your nose on this, please do. I truly feel like this is a beautiful, fruity, woody fragrance. And I don't have anything like this in my collection. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and pick this up so in my opinion this is very much so unisex but if i had to say it leaned one way or another i would say slightly masculine and only because i feel like the woods in this accompanied with the pineapple may kind of give you a masculine vibe but i definitely think women and men can both rock this fragrance and both rock it beautifully so again if you can get your nose on this do it and then come back and let me know what you think. All right, y'all, so I am talking too much. It's already been 25 minutes, which is ridiculous. So this next one is one that I was uberly excited to get, and I finally got it. <laughs> that is Oud Orange Intense from Fragrance Dubois. Y'all, this was a wish list item and I can officially check it off of my list. You know what, at the end of the year, I think I'm gonna go back through my wish list and tell you everything that was on that list and if I secured the bag or not. Which I think I've pretty much at this point secured maybe 90%, but we'll go through it thoroughly at the end of the year. But anyway, there are a couple of other Fragrance Dubois fragrances 
that I want. Um, and then I think I'm, I'm good on this collection, but Oud Orange Intense is absolutely beautiful. This has got fruity notes. It's got coconut in it. It's got bourbon vanilla. It's got regular vanilla. It's got musk. It's got sandalwood. Mm, but when I smell this from the nozzle, I get tropical vibes, a beautiful, gorgeous summertime fragrance. And the lasting power on this is amazing. So this is an extrait day parfum. And with extraits, they have a higher oil concentration. So with higher oil, it stays, it tends to stay closer to the skin, but you can smell it for longer. With this, I get that longevity of the smell, but it also projects more than what a typical extrait would project. So I love that about this fragrance. This is a luxurious type of summer tropical scent. Beautiful fragrance. Now, the other one that I want is Oud Jean Intense. And I was going back and forth on which one between the two I was gonna get. I decided to do this one. Oh, and it's so, so beautiful. If you have this one, let me know what you feel about it because I know Oud Jean Intense is getting a lot of hype right now, but this one is just as beautiful as that one. And I absolutely love it. So this to me is also unisex. So a man can rock this, a woman can rock this. Mm, if I had to say it leans one way more than the other, I think it leans a little bit more feminine than it does masculine, but I definitely think both man and woman can rock this. But Oud Orange Intense is absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to get my life the rest of this summer with this scent, okay? All right, so this next one is a fragrance that I've actually had my eye on for about a year and a half or so, pretty much shortly after it dropped. Now, I saw the notes and I was a bit intrigued. I wasn't necessarily looking for this fragrance. I was actually looking at the house in general and I just happened to stumble on this fragrance and it appealed to me. So I've been kind of hesitant on getting it because I hadn't been able to smell it, but I did chat it up with one of my YouTube friends here, Abby with Love. In one of her videos, I asked her about this fragrance and she said, yes, I think you'll like this. So I decided to go ahead and finally pick it up. And that fragrance is the favorite from Penhelegance. Now, like I said, I was actually looking at the house as a whole. Um, I think this dropped in 2020 and I remember going to just kind of sniff some of the scents. Helfetti was one of them, Cairo was one of them, and a few others that I wanted to get my nose on. And then I heard about this one. They did not have this one in store for me to sniff but they let me smell a couple of things that had some similarities to it. I don't remember the scent. So I never got a chance to smell exactly what this smelled like, but I got somewhat of an idea of how it smelled. So anyways, I did ask Abby in one of her videos if she thought that I should pick this up and she did. So like I said, I went ahead and picked it up and y'all, this is the epitome of a feminine, pretty girl scent in my opinion now when i sniff this from the bottle i don't really get that much it doesn't really do anything for me but once i put this and spray this on my skin it starts to develop into a beautiful quintessential feminine fragrance this is non-offensive this is the epitome of femininity in my opinion um so there is iris and violet in here and with those notes it tends to be powdery. So this is a powdery type of fragrance, very powdery in my opinion. But the offset of that or the juxtaposition of that is that it has Ambroxan in it. And so I love Ambroxan. So the Ambroxan with the powderiness of this, it just makes it oh so beautiful on skin. I really feel like you need skin for this to perform and show you what it's gonna do. This isn't gonna do anything on paper for you. This isn't gonna do anything from the nozzle for you either. This has to be on skin for you to get the full vibe of what this fragrance gives. And this fragrance gives a very pretty, well-dressed, well-spoken, well-mannered type of woman. This is not a turn up wild out type of fragrance. This is not a going out type of fragrance. This is a almost a prim 
and proper type of scent in my opinion kind of like tea time this is a perfect scent for tea time so this also has a note of mimosa and i feel like the mimosa in here gives it a sparkly type of nature as well as it starts to dry down and then you've got some woodsy notes at the bottom so it is a powdery sparkly slightly creamy and woodsy at the bottom with that ambroxan this is such a beautiful scent. Like I said, you have to experience this on skin to get the full feel of what this gives you. Not gonna do anything on paper, not gonna do anything in the air in my opinion. This is definitely a scent that needs to be on skin. Now, the performance on this, it lasts for about six hours. Projection, mm, I wanna say it's about half of that time. So it projected well enough for about three hours and then it became a skin scent after that so about six six and a half hours before it completely died off almost completely i would say but i've got a pretty decent dent in here already from wearing this beautiful scent just absolutely love it if you want a feminine pretty girl scent i would highly suggest checking this one out all right so the next fragrance that i picked up is one that i wasn't really again wasn't looking for but i recently went to the scent room in dallas texas and i was in scent heaven okay i was slightly overwhelmed by just the plethora of the different fragrance houses that i hear about all the time on youtube i finally was in the room filled with different niche fragrances. So I will say there were quite a few people in there, so I didn't get the full experience to be able to smell everything. Um, and then I was also pressed for time because I had a flight to catch back home. Um, so I went to the scent room before I headed to the airport. It, it was en route. So I smelled a few fragrances, not everything that I wanted to smell, but I smelled this particular one and it was, pretty much love at first sniff so i decided to go ahead and pick this one up and this is called reflection from musk milano now i haven't really heard a lot about this i don't i think it's popular i'm not sure but this one fell in love with there's another one called tango oh my gosh that one is more of an oriental ambery scent absolutely beautiful but this one is like a breath of fresh air this is such a beautiful summery time type of fragrance and that's why i opted to pick this one up versus tango because tango is more of a fall winter fragrance and i'm still in my summer time vibe this opens up bright it's got mandarin it's got cardamom so it's a little spicy at the opening it's got aldehydes in it and it also has like some solar notes and i get that solar sensation once this sits on my skin i've only worn this twice um but it's absolutely beautiful and i have not worn this outside yet so i can't tell you how this interacts with the elements outside but indoors in air conditioning it's beautiful how it wafts off my skin and the performance on this i got about maybe hmm, six to eight hours so longevity was not bad at all i don't have any complaints in that especially with this having a citrusy opening i feel like the cardamom in here kind of grounds it and allows it to extend just a little bit and then you have musk and cedar at the bottom now what i find really interesting about this is that it's it's bright and airy to me in the opening but it also has like a comforting fluffy creamy type of vibe so this does dry down a bit creamy and it also has mimosa in here as well just like the favorite it has mimosa i think it's mimosa absolute in this scent but this is a dynamic fragrance as well for me i don't really know what it is and like i said i haven't had a lot of experience with this i've only worn this twice so i can't give you a lot of what it gives me but right now what i get is some brightness initially but some coziness at the same time this is a really really beautiful fragrance so again i haven't heard a lot about this house M mask milano but i got my nose on it from the scent room and i was able to smell this tango and one other i can't remember the name that one was pleasant but this one and tango stood out to me the most between the three that i was able to smell so once i get to wear this a little bit more i will come back and just share my thoughts on what it does for me especially how it performs outdoors okay so this next fragrance is another one that i was extremely happy to finally get okay and this one is 
Creme de Cure from BDK. Y'all, when I tell you that I was supposed to get this a long time ago, this is one of those fragrances that I've had on my list and I kept pushing it back and I kept prioritizing other fragrances in front of it. I've let other fragrances cut the line on this one. I cannot believe I've done it for so long, but the day has finally come that it's here. It's this beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And get this, this is a leather fragrance. But this leather here is amazing. This has got some pineapple in it. It's got some grapefruit in it. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely gorgeous. So I want to say it also has some suede in here, cashmere in here. When you wear this, luxuriousness is the first thing that I think about. <sighs> Y'all. So I have not worn this fragrance out yet. I've worn this once in the house and I could not get over how amazing I smelt. So like I said, this has pineapple and grapefruit, but it also has bergamot and mandarin orange. It's got some spicy nuances as well. It's got some black pepper and pink pepper. And then you've got your sandalwood, you've got your suede, and you've got your cashmere. In. This is addictive a little bit and it's quite sexy. So um, I cannot wait to wear this one. I've only worn this one once, so I don't have the full experience of what this gives, but what I'm getting right now or what I got the one time that I sprayed it, amazing, amazing, amazing. I cannot believe it took me this long to finally secure the bag, but the bag has been secured and I'm happy about it. So this, like I said, has leather in it, but girl, the leather is not anything to be worried about or concerned with because everything else in here surrounding that leather just makes it just luxurious and oh so addictive like I said. So Creme de Cure is finally in your girl's collection. Cannot wait to get somewhere out of this one. All right y'all, so I have one last fragrance to share with you and I'm excited to share it, but this is also the reason why I'm in jail. It's also the reason why I'm in jail and I, yeah, I'm not getting anything else until I post bail or I, parole, okay? End of the year, parole, okay? So what's crazy is that this is one of the first fragrances that I purchased as soon as I got off timeout. And I have been holding on to this fragrance until I filmed this video. So are you ready to see what that fragrance is? Okay, coming right up. So I got, yes, yes I did. <laughs> yes I did, I got a Kriegler bag. So, so I talked about, I think it was in my last haul video, I talked about how Jessie or Jessica here on YouTube, how she was so gracious enough to send me some samples and this scent took my breath away, okay? There have been quite a few reviewers here on YouTube as well who have spoken highly of this fragrance. They've all spoken positively about this fragrance and once I got my nose on it, I was enamored. I was enamored and I knew I had to pick this up this year. So as soon as I got out of lockdown, I had to do it. I had to do it. So I got my bottle of Abracadabra. <laughs> and like I said, I purchased this in June and I have been holding on to it until I filmed because I was also torn on whether or not I was going to film a haul video or not. So yeah, it just sat in this bag. So I also got some samples of the fragrance. So I got a sample of this fragrance and I got a sample of two other scents as well. So before I open this, I do have a bit of a story. So your girl went on a date, mm -hmm. I did. And um, so Kriegler gives you samples. So they give you a sample of the fragrance that you're purchasing and they happen to give me two other samples for me to try. So I got a sample of uh, Lovely Patchouli by Night. Love that one as well. And then I also got a sample of Chimpiri. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll probably put it on the screen, but that one was just okay. But Lovely Patchouli by Night, absolutely beautiful. And I was able to smell a few others in the boutique. So 
I don't know that I will be purchasing another, definitely not this year, okay? But I don't know if I'll be purchasing another one right away. I, my heart was after this one and I, my heart is full. I am beyond ecstatic that I have this in my collection. So I think I'm okay with holding off on trying to explore more from this house because it is very, very pricey, y'all. It's very pricey, but let me get to the story. So I had a date, your girl had a date, okay? And I decided that I was going to wear the sample of Abracadabra on this date, all right? So me and this guy, we had been talking via phone and we FaceTime a couple of times, but this was gonna be our first time meeting in person, okay? So I decided, you know, I'm gonna spray on my Abracadabra and see what it does and see what it gives. So we meet up and I get out the car and I am walking up to him. And before I could even get up to him really good, the first thing he says was, dang, you smell good. Oh, you smell good. Oh, you smell amazing. I was like, thank you. <laughs> so I give him a hug, we're hugging. He's like, oh, you smell so good. The fact that he complimented me on my smell, and he doesn't even know that like I'm a, into fragrances like that or anything like that. But before I could even hug him or get to him really good, he just kept going on and on about how amazing I smell. Y'all, this is such an amazing scent. And then of course afterwards he told me I looked good, you know, all the things, but my smell knocked him off his feet. So I made a great first impression. Great first impression with Abracadabra 221. So I am finally tearing open this cylinder so I can show you guys. I'm not being pretty with this doll, so sorry. All right, so this is what it looks like out of the white packaging. Okay. And then. In, ah! y'all, it's been sitting in here the whole time. And it's towards the end of July, by the way. I bought this in mid-June, it's towards the end of July. So just that lets you know how patient I've been with opening this, but y'all, this is my bottle. I am ecstatic about this, y'all. Y'all heard all the things about Abracadabra 221. This is a beautiful aldehydic scent. And everyone who smells this just thinks it's just as amazing as I think it is. This is absolutely amazing. Jesse, thank you so much for sending me a sample of this because I would have never known. I would have just taken everybody's word for it that it smells amazing, it's cool. But the fact that I was able to get my nose on it, I was able to wear it and experience it, the hype is real, y'all. The hype is absolutely real. This is such a gorgeous scent. So Kriegler Boutiques, if you haven't heard already, are exclusive boutiques that are only available I think in the Plaza Hotel in New York and here in Houston, they are in the Four Seasons. So I was able to go to the Four Seasons, smell this, secure this, and yeah, it's finally in my collection. It's in my collection. So like I said, because of this, I need to sit down somewhere and not buy anything else. Um, I also mentioned that I may or may not have another fragrance in route. I think it's going to come today, actually, but that was gifted to me. So um, at this point, I am done for 2022 in fragrances. I am good at this point. And like I said in my last video about fragrance peace, I am beyond fragrance peace. I am being spoiled with just luxuriousness at this point all right y'all so at this point i am rambling but thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this haul this was kind of epic kind of an epic haul if i do say so myself if you haven't already please consider subscribing and then hitting that notification bell so you can stay up to date every single time i come out with a new drop all right thank you again so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one